Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how you can build the Yocto for your Raspberry Pi boards. So here I'm going to use Raspberry Pi Zero, but you can build this Yocto for any Raspberry Pi variant. So let's start. So here are uh, eight steps which you need to follow to build the Raspberry Pi Yocto image. So first you'll have to prepare your host machine. Here I'm going to use Ubuntu 24. You can use Ubuntu 20 or 22. I have al already tested this on both the Ubuntu variants. Then we'll have to download the Pocky repository. Then we'll have to download Meta Raspberry Pi. So here it is mentioning in step three Meta Intel, but here we'll have to download Meta Raspberry Pi repository. Then we'll have to create VSP layer. We need to perform few configuration changes. So in configuration changes, guys, we'll have to update bblayer.conf and local.conf. In local.conf, generally we provide the information like which machine you want to use. For example, we have different variant in Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi 0, Raspberry Pi 3, 4, and 5. So we'll have to pass that uh, machine argument in local.conf and also a uh, few boards comes with the internal flash, few boards do not have the flash. For example, in Raspberry Pi, there is no internal flash, so we'll have to boot that Raspberry Pi with SD card. So those kind of configuration will go into the local.conf. In bblayer.conf, we'll have to pass the, the layer for which we are going to build the Yocto systems. For example, here we are going to use the Meta Raspberry Pi. So we'll add the Meta Raspberry Pi. If you have any custom layer, if you want to build for your product specific, that will also go into the bblayer.conf. Then uh, six step recipe changes. If you have any recipe which you want to add that you can add it here. Otherwise, uh, here we are going to use the default configurations. Then we'll have to prepare build. So first is we'll have to create the environment using source OE init build env and then we'll have to start the building the code using the different type of image configurations. So these all are the steps which you'll have to follow. In the feedback, we have different different command. Do fetch like it will fetch the source code. Do unpack, ext extract the source code. If there is any patch, we can pass that patch information into patch. Then configure and compile, install and packages. So these all are the feedback commands which we generally used. So here you can see we have release information. So this is very old uh, release information. So the Crickstone is all, is also very stable release. It's launched in 2022. So I'm going to use the Crickstone only, but still there is few more new releases, uh, which one is in 2024, 2023. So you can use that also using the same step. So here we have these steps. So first, uh, as I mentioned, we'll have to prepare the host. So you need to prepare the host. You can copy. And uh, I'm just going to open my Ubuntu machine. So this is my Ubuntu machine. You can check the variant. So this is Ubuntu 24. So I have guys already installed on the and you can just copy paste all these things so because i copied this from the powerpoint so it's creating some problem so you can set this remove the spaces like this then control c control v so, so few packages are not So you can see guys everything is already installed in my machine so but for you it will take some time because there are a lot of packages are going to install 
then we'll have to follow the second step we'll have to download this repository but as i mentioned we'll have to download this repository with uh, fixed on brands so you need to pass hyphen b option so i have already cloned this source code so you can see i have already this repository then you will have to download this meta raspberry pi using git clone command so i have already meta raspberry pi and make sure guys you can go to meta raspberry pi and check git branch so you can see it's pointing to clickstone if you just download this meta raspberry pi so you can just go into the meta raspberry pi and execute command git checkout clickstone so you can see it is already on clickstone branch and again you can check the branch name using this git branch command then we'll have to update the conf so before the conf let's create the environment so as i mentioned the environment file will be into the pocky folder sorry let me just increase the fonts So if you can specify your build folder also guys for me i have created already one folder so that's why i'm going to use this one only and then let's open the conf file so you can go into the conf local.conf so guys as i mentioned we'll have to mention the image type machine name so here i'm going to use raspberry pi zero wi-fi that's why i have mentioned raspberry pi zero wi-fi then will have to specify the image and here I am also going to enable the UART and going to enable the SSH so with the help of this enable underscore UART flag you can enable the UART and uh, with the help of this append you can enable the SSH into your Raspberry Pi so this is the changes for the local.com then we'll have to change the dblayer.com in dblayer.com guys make sure you should add this meta raspberry pi location because this will specify like this yoke 2 is going to build for your raspberry pi ports and also you can go into the meta raspberry pi folder con machines and you can see all the machines name are available for example if you want to build this for raspberry pi 3 32 bit version you can use this one 64 bit version you can use this machine name or you if you want to use raspberry pi 5 you have to provide this machine name in your local.com okay now we can build the image So guys i have already built so this will not take much time for me but for you it will take minimum one to two hours based on your machine configuration okay so for me it's already built now if you want to flash the image then take the sd card Click the SD card reader into your machine. And your machine deploy image folder guys will be CD tab deploy. Now 
images so this will be the folder location where you will find your final output image okay so here guys uh, you can simply specify du hyphen sh star and you can check the image size which will be your image so here you will find hd image Yeah, so you can see this is your image. The size of your image is only 61 MB, guys. So this this time your Raspberry Pi will boot like a rocket. Okay, so I have created. So guys, we'll have to use this command in order to prepare the bootable SD card. sync so here we will specify the image so our image is as i mentioned 61 mb what was the name name was core image minimal raspberry pi zero this is your hd image guys okay so you'll have to flash this one This will take some time, guys. This will also vary based on your SD card reader speed. So I am using here US, USB card reader which has USB 2.0. That's why it's taking a little bit much time. Yeah, so content has been written. Remove the SD card reader. Insert your SD card in Raspberry Pi board. Let me open the terminal. Com twenty. Okay. Turning on the Raspberry Pi board, guys. You can see Raspberry Pi will boot up very fast turn on you can see within six seconds this is the timestamp the file system has been extracted and you can see here we have logged in Can now access your raspberry pi stuff thanks for watching this video